So I made another video a while back and I listed these seven items. And I need you to understand that the point of that video was to get you to start thinking about system design in a different way because it was very clear based on the search that I did that a lot of people are trying to run before they can walk. And that is creating a lot of really shitty design systems that actively harm customers and people who try to use them. And so we're going to be real here in this video, which is why I'm dressed down. I don't have the tie on because I feel more relaxed without the damn tie. And so what you have to understand is that the system design fundamentals that I put in that video as on the screen here are still very important. But the fact is, you shouldn't be trying to design the architecture of a system if you don't know how to design a module or a class correctly. Okay. The fact is, you need to learn those prerequisite skills and actually learn how to do the smaller stuff before you jump into the larger stuff. And there's too many people out there who claim to have system design skills that are just trying to learn it off of YouTube when they don't have any practical experience with the smaller stuff, and it shows. The fact is, if you lie about your skills and say that you know this stuff when you really don't, then you're just going to end up hurting people. You might fool your boss for a few months before he fires you for incompetency after the bugs start piling in. But the fact is, you need to understand that you're actively doing harm to the world when you do that. And so you need to understand that the big things for you is dry, solid. And so you need to understand that if you don't know what dry or solid is, then you need to get to work and understand that because that is critical for simply designing a class structure, okay? You want to do system design. Guess what? You also need to do module design. You need to understand class design. You need to understand class hierarchy. And, and no, I'm not talking about the... Uh, I'm not talking about the uh, political aspects of that, although people will make jokes. The fact is, I am, I am so out of it right now, I can't even spell hierarchy, okay? And so the, the big issue here is that you need to understand that these other issues for the smaller things are prerequisites for the bigger things, okay? You can't design a 50,000 line microservice or system to support that as an app without understanding how to deal with the 300 line class. In fact, in many cases, that class is too big. And so you need to understand that in order to not try to repeat yourself, what dry means, don't repeat yourself, okay? You don't understand what DRY means and don't repeat yourself then you're going to have a big problem. And yeah, I'm saying it here, but there's a lot more to understand than the concept of not repeating yourself. It's about centralizing functionality in the same place. It's about making sure that classes are in one file and, and that you have one file per class so that when a class doesn't change, none of the files that it, it's actually in get edited. It's about making sure that you understand solid so you can have the single responsibility principle. You can have the ability to dependency injection. You can have the Linskov substitution principle, which basically means that you're going to be able to swap out gears of the same size and have things still work. And so you need to understand that in a moving engine, when you want to build this system, you need to actually go out of your way to put the planning in and do the work so that when it's built, you're not going to have problems. Customers are going to be happy. The system won't be down. Your boss won't be angry because you're constantly trying to fix things that should have been done months ago instead of work on new features, okay? That is why these things have relevance. It doesn't matter how much code you shit out with an open LM connection using REST calls, okay? The fact is, open AI, whatever, you need to understand this stuff because if you don't have this context in your head, using an AI won't solve it for you. In fact, it'll make it a lot worse. So you need to understand that this is critical stuff. And if you're not senior enough as an engineer to understand this, then you're not qualified for the job, period. Okay? Because if you can't 
figure out how to create a class correctly, then you're probably not going to be able to figure out the module that it lives in. If you can't figure out the module that it lives in, well, then guess what? You're not going to be able to figure out the subsystem that it lives in, which means you're not going to be able to figure out the architecture for the entire project. So this is a much bigger deal than you might want to think about it. But the fact is, it's still going to be an issue. And as somebody with 25 plus years of software development experience in his head, I'm telling you right now that you should not be looking at system design stuff at all if you don't understand the rest of this already. Let's face it. You're trying to run before you can walk. Start crawling. <laughs>